You've probably seen the headlines, China launches 10G. 10G Internet now live in Shanghai. Sounds like China just leaped into the future, right? But is it real progress or just powerful branding? Some call it the next chapter in China's digital dominance. Others say it's marketing smoke and mirrors. In this video, we unpack the truth. What exactly is 10G? Is China really ahead of the world or just reshaping the narrative? Because in today's world, speed isn't just about connection. It's about how fast influence travels. Despite how it sounds, 10G isn't the next generation after 5G or 6G. 5G is the fifth generation mobile network, now being deployed globally. 6G is still in development and expected to launch after 2030. In fact, it's not even part of the same roadmap. The G here doesn't stand for generation. It stands for gigabits per second. 10G refers to ultra-fast internet delivered via fiber optics, reaching speeds up to 10 gigabits per second. It's not a mobile breakthrough. It's a broadband one. The term was first coined in the U.S. by companies like Comcast and Charter in 2019 as a way to rebrand their fiber upgrades and stay competitive with the hype around 5G. So, when you see headlines like China launches 10G, remember, it likely means lightning-fast fiber, not a new wireless network. Here's the twist. When China launches 10G hits your feed, it sounds like China just leapfrogged to the next wireless era. But that's not what's really happening. There's no new mobile standard being deployed. No futuristic wireless jump. What's actually rolling out is high-speed fiber. Upgraded home internet, not mobile infrastructure. Still, the term 10G creates confusion. It sounds futuristic. It feels like it should come after 5G or 6G. That's why the branding sticks, even if the reality is a lot more grounded. So, is China using 10G incorrectly? Not really. Chinese telecom providers use the term to describe household fiber broadband that delivers 10 gigabit speeds, especially in major cities like Shanghai, Shenzhen, and Guangzhou. And in that sense, they're following the same logic as Western telecom companies. But here's where it gets tricky. Once that label goes global, shared by state media, boosted by tech blogs, misread by international outlets, it transforms. Suddenly, it sounds like China's mobile networks have jumped generations. And that's not true. There's no 10G mobile in China's roadmap. Just fast fiber with a strategic label. The confusion begins when this 10G label escapes China. It's picked up by global media, translated without context, and suddenly China launches 10G becomes a headline suggesting mobile supremacy. Social media makes it worse, where nuance gets lost and bold claims go viral. Readers assume China has leapfrogged over 6G. The reality? No mobile revolution. No new wireless standard. Just strategic branding of fiber infrastructure. Still, perception is powerful. And when headlines spread faster than facts, the world starts believing China has already won a race that hasn't even started yet. That's not deception. That's narrative control. Something China plays remarkably well. So, what's actually happening in China right now? It's not just marketing fluff. Behind the headlines is a massive infrastructure upgrade. China is rolling out fiber to the room, FTTR. Not just to buildings, but into every room of urban homes. They're deploying 10 g tech, fiber lines capable of 10 gigabits per second speeds. These networks are ultra-fast and ultra-smart, built to support real-time applications like cloud computing, VR, and AI. In cities like Shanghai and Guangzhou, 10 gigabits per second internet is already live and often cheaper than similar speeds in the West. It's not about chasing the next G. It's about building the world's most advanced internet backbone. 
quietly but aggressively. But is this high-speed internet available to every Chinese citizen? Not yet. Most people still rely on fourth generation or fifth generation with speeds under 1 gigabit per second. The 10G fiber rollout is currently limited to wealthy urban areas like Shanghai and Shenzhen. But in China, when infrastructure starts, it doesn't stay small for long. What begins as a pilot in elite districts often becomes nationwide within a few years. So while 10 gigabits isn't everywhere today, it's not just an experiment. It's a blueprint and China knows exactly how to scale it fast. So, is China actually leading the world in ultra-fast networks? In some ways, yes. Certain Chinese households now enjoy faster home internet than users in the US, South Korea, or even Japan. Tech giants like Huawei and ZTE are already developing gear that can push speeds from 10 up to 100 gigabits per second. And China is experimenting with cutting-edge 6G concepts, including quantum satellite relays and terahertz transmissions. This isn't just about going faster. It's about redefining what fast even means and setting the bar for everyone else. While others talk, China builds. And they're not just building networks. They're building advantage. The real story behind China's 10G push isn't just speed. It's ambition. 10G is the foundation for something much bigger, a real-time AI-driven digital society. Imagine smart cities that manage traffic and energy without human input. Surveillance systems that stream high-res footage in real time. Government services powered by facial recognition and predictive AI. From telemedicine to drone control, these systems need ultra-low latency and massive bandwidth. China's building the infrastructure now so the future can ride on top of it. This isn't just faster internet. It's the digital nervous system of a new kind of state. China isn't improvising here. They're following a clear strategy. First, build the infrastructure. Then, scale the applications. From FTTR in homes to national rollout of 10GPON, to AI that predicts network congestion and reroutes traffic in real time. Every step is part of a long-term plan. It's not just telecom, it's digital statecraft, where networks aren't neutral tools but levers of control. In China, the Internet isn't just a service. It's a platform for governance, influence, and AI power. So why is China pouring billions into 10G infrastructure? Because AI, data, and defense now depend on fiber. AI thrives on three things. Big data, fast data, and live data. Real-time surveillance, autonomous logistics, and smart city operations. None of that works well on unstable 5G. China doesn't just want faster networks. It wants independence from Western standards and the ability to build a digital future on its own terms. 10 gigabytes is the pipeline. AI is the engine. The message is clear. Control the bandwidth and you control the future. Don't let the internet upgrade label fool you. This isn't just about better Netflix speeds. It's about influence shaped through connectivity. In today's world, fiber equals soft power. Who controls the digital rails controls the digital rules. With 10 gigabytes, China isn't just giving users faster downloads, it's enabling smarter algorithms, faster government response, seamless AI-driven services, but also tighter data control, deeper behavioral tracking. 10G is more than tech. It's governance by bandwidth. So, where does the rest of the world stand? The U.S., Japan, and South Korea are expanding 10 gigabits per second fiber to the home networks. The EU is pushing the Gigabit Infrastructure Act. But there's a gap. Most regions still cap home speeds at 1 gigabit per second. And more critically, no one is combining speed, infrastructure, AI, and narrative the way China is. While Western nations debate policy and funding, China executes a full-stack strategy. 
Build the network. Optimize it with AI. Merge private innovation with state control. It's not just fast, it's engineered for dominance. On paper, 10 gigabytes brings incredible advantages. Instant downloads, lag-free 8K streaming, real-time virtual reality, cloud gaming without a console. But this isn't just speed for convenience, it's speed with strings attached. In China's model, faster networks mean sharper surveillance, algorithms that subtly shape public opinion, data that doesn't just serve you, it shapes you. With 10 gigabytes, every byte flows through channels engineered not just for efficiency, but for oversight. This is programmable infrastructure. And it's changing what Internet really means. So what does all this mean for the rest of the world? It means we need to stop treating digital infrastructure as a neutral utility. China isn't laying cables for speed alone. It's laying foundations for command, where every fiber, every switch, every algorithm feeds into national power. While others rent access from global vendors, China is building end-to-end -end systems. Network. Platform. Narrative. In the age of programmable internet, those who build the rails are the ones who write the rules. So let's recap. 10G is real, but it's fiber, not mobile. It's not nationwide, but it's scaling fast. It's not hype, but a clear digital strategy. China's not just ahead in speed. It's ahead in how it thinks about the internet itself. As infrastructure, as AI backbone, as soft power. And this isn't the end, it's the foundation. In our next video, we explore Dubao, China's answer to ChatGPT. What is it really? A censored chatbot or something more powerful? No noise, no hype, just signal. Only China AI. Explained.